Agent Clayton Reeves sure did capture hearts and minds while he was alive on the show. Though it was for a criminally short time, he was very much a fan favorite. A good character being killed off early is always such a shame, isn't it? Well, Dwayne Henry, the actor who played Reeves, has a few comments on that. In this video, we'll be telling you all about it and more. First of all, let's talk about Agent Reeves. We'll admit it took fans a little time to warm up to his character, but once we got a whiff of Reeves' amazing performance of a troubled man, we just couldn't help but want more. Plus, the British charisma and charm definitely helps. NCIS has its share of characters who make bad decisions, and Reeves is no exception. From covering up the fact that he went to Alcoholics Anonymous to all the atrocities he committed as an undercover MI6 agent, the show's layered writing makes for complex characters who all fall in a gray area, honestly. Dwayne Henry's been pretty candid about his thoughts on his character, and eventually his exit from the show. In an interview with Parade, he was asked if he knew Reeves would volunteer himself for a suicide mission. We're talking about the Willoughby mission, to be exact. Yup, every NCIS fan just had war flashbacks. This show gets so intense sometimes. Oh well, it is a crime show. He said he kinda knew from the start that Reeves had some skeletons in his closet. After analyzing his character, he figured he was more of a loner, a Rolling Stone. And you know what they say about Rolling Stones? They go places. He signed up for Willoughby because he had very little to lose. Here's the thing though, you would have thought his reckless antics would get him killed. If anything, Reeves was always regarded with suspicion on the show. But when you look at how he actually died, it's kind of out of the blue. Being shot while protecting Abby Shuto from a mugger is a heroic way to go, sure, but it still tugs at the heartstrings. Also, Dwayne Henry's thoughts on his exit. Though this was pretty distressing for fans everywhere, Henry was pretty happy with how his character left the show. We know what you're thinking. How? It was such a sad, tragic ending that nobody could have predicted. According to him, he couldn't have asked for a better exit. This one goes to Polly Perrette, because he had to die protecting her character from a mugger. It was life or death. Henry says that this would be his answer if anyone asked him how he'd want to leave a show. He gushes about Perrette, which is totally understandable. She's a sweetheart on and off screen. She did a lot for Henry, and they were pretty good friends on set. Turns out, they remain really good friends long after their tenure at NCIS ended. Henry and Perrette still call and check up on each other from time to time, visit each other for lunch and whatnot. A good friendship on and off screen? That's just the dream, man. On top of that, Henry reveals that his character's death wasn't planned out that far in advance. When Gary Glassberg, the creator of NCIS, sadly passed away, a lot of things about the show had to change at the last minute. Glassberg had all the creative control over Agent Reeves, and Henry would brainstorm with him together. Naturally, after he passed, a lot of Henry's ideas died with him. The writers had to scramble together endings and plot lines, and that's how Reeves met his demise. Safe to say that even the producers and writers didn't expect that kind of ending either. And now, more on Henry's life after NCIS. If there's one thing Henry did after NCIS, it was making a huge jump. From an intense crime show to a sweet holiday Hallmark movie, that's what Henry did. He starred in Mistletoe in Montana, a romantic comedy alongside Melissa Joan Hart. This was huge for Henry, because he's been a fan of Hart since forever. We're all familiar with her because she was a huge part of our childhoods. For those kids who watched Nickelodeon especially, seeing her on Clarissa and Sabrina, the teenage witch, is an experience we can all relate to. Dwayne Henry used to sit in front of the TV whenever Sabrina would come on and watch it religiously with his sister. He says that acting next to her in a movie was just like a dream come true. Of course, what can be better than bagging a role with your childhood hero? Melissa Joan Hart's definitely a part of his memories when he thinks back on his childhood and nostalgia. Acting in a Lifetime movie is a pretty big feat, to say the least. Henry's all smiles when he talks about mistletoe in Montana. Stepping into the role of a single father who owns a ranch in Montana is a huge jump away from his role as Agent Reeves on NCIS. It seems like Henry really enjoys branching out, and good on him for doing so. Here's to hoping we see more of him on the big screen from now on. Now, here's some other NCIS news you might have missed. First up, Chris O'Donnell realizes something on set. After bringing his wife on set a few times, the NCIS LA star had a lot to say. He spent over a decade playing a character with almost 
almost no family ties. But what about the actor himself? He's brought his entire family to the set, not to mention their cameos in the show. Chris recently dished that he had come to a realization. Bringing your wife on set and having her face the camera may not be the best idea. How? There was a restaurant scene where a shooting was taking place. It was intense. People were panicking and fleeing. It was a whole scene, mind you. Here's the kick. With real champagne in their hands, a group of girls walks in, laughing hysterically. Of course, the scene couldn't be used, so they had to recreate it. But one of the girls happened to be Chris's wife. Yep, the one and only. That's why he believed his wife would get him fired. Of course, this wasn't a massive plunder on his part. It's actually quite amusing to reflect on. Chris didn't have to worry about losing his job because the entire cast and crew were laughing. He did, however, learn not to leave his wife in the trailer. He can't afford something like that happening again. It's too risky. Up next, NCIS Hawaii is in for a second season. Fans of NCIS all have one complaint. They've been dying for information about season two. Well, it looks like our prayers have been heard. The second season has just begun production, so we can expect it to be released in September of this year. Pretty soon, we'll have more NCIS Hawaii to sit back and binge watch. It has to be special when it's in Hawaii. Vanessa Lachi has been keeping everyone up to date on production and all things NCIS, and she recently shared something really cool. The entire cast was given a traditional Hawaiian blessing, which you can see on Lachi's Instagram stories. They wanted to commemorate the second season's filming, and what better way to do so than with a sacred Hawaiian ritual? Lachi even included a photo of the Kahu who initiated the blessing. Not only did the cast receive his blessing, but so did the crew. We can only hope that their filming goes well. They've even been blessed. It really was a special blessing, by the looks of it. Each person received a three-stranded tea plant, which represents the past, present, and future. Everyone exclaims, Chi Hu, at the end of the ritual. This is a Hawaiian celebratory phrase from Samoan culture. And if this doesn't cement the cast relationship as a family, what will? They're pretty serious about this, and it's just amazing to see a cast this dedicated to each other and the show. And lastly, what's in store for NCIS Season 20? NCIS Season 20 is gonna hit our screens in 2023, and fans just can't wait any faster. Steve Binder, the producer, has revealed quite a few things we can expect in the 20th season of the show. A lot of this involves Casey's character, who's the classic underdog fan favorite. Diona Reasonover hinted at the fact that she might leave NCIS, and it really gave everyone a heart attack. To see Casey leave is not on anyone's bucket list, that's for sure. Thankfully, Reasonover changed her mind and decided to stay on for the next season. Binder really wants to explore her character more, and has confirmed that there's going to be a character-centric episode of her in the upcoming season. What's more is he's also confirmed that she's going to have a love interest too. Binder commented that they used to do Abby-centric episodes, and they always did well. He has high hopes that this will be no different, even though Casey is very different from Abby as a person. Oh well, we're excited to see what comes up. That's all for today's video, folks. What do you think about Agent Reeves' departure from NCIS? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and like this video for more videos like this. See you in the next one.